We're learning more tonight about the two construction workers who were shot to death at an Alexandria apartment complex over the weekend. The men were a stepfather and a stepson. And as Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports, their family has already experienced more than their share of sorrow. A tearful Laura Hernandez explaining how her life tragically changed in an instant on Saturday morning. Her husband and son both killed when a gunman opened fire on them at a job site where they were working in Alexandria. I'm destroyed. My son and my husband were killed while working. It's so unjust. They weren't doing anything, just working. It's unjust what happened to them. Police say Adrian Rivera Guzman and Juan Carlos Hernandez were innocent bystanders, victims of a crime rampage waged by an armed man who tried to break into a nearby apartment. Hernandez telling Telemundo 44's Dario Lopez Capera that she and her family left El Salvador to find safety in this country. She'd already lost two sons to violence there. Hernandez says her husband was well-educated, studying law in his home country. He worked construction here, this video showing him skillfully maneuvering heavy equipment. His stepson, Juan Carlos, working alongside him. They were such lovely people, hardworking. Adrian was well-educated. He studied law in El Salvador. He wants to be a lawyer. My son was amicable hardworking, responsible. I depended on them. They both took care of me. Hernandez says as she grieves, she's also focused on getting justice for her loved ones. Police have a suspect in custody, Francis Deontay Rose, but he has not yet been charged with the murders. News 4 has learned just three weeks before Saturday's violence, Rose broke into an apartment at the same complex carrying a gun. But police had been unable to find him to arrest him and serve the warrants. He's now being held on those charges. In Alexandria, Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. The shooting suspect had also faced gun charges before in the district and in Arlington County.